Hey guys, this is Matt here from High Life Auto. Our YouTube handle is High Life AS. Make sure you subscribe and watch our videos if you don't mind. Um, again, thanks for watching this video. Uh, today, I just want to talk to you about honesty. Um, a lot of dealers claim to be honest. I claim to be honest. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things where, honestly, the only way I can help you is if you're being honest with me. Um, and I tell people, before you go car shopping, before you even get on the internet or anything, make sure the first thing you do is get a budget. Because um, you can't help yourself, you can't know if the dealer is pushing you too hard or, or whatever it is until you come up with your budget. Uh, make sure you can afford it. Remember, uh, anybody that claims to know the future is wrong. So the fact that you know you're going to have a job in one year, two years, three years is probably, you know, yeah, you could. And let's cross our fingers. The economy doesn't collapse this, that, whatever. But it's one of those things just to be careful. Make sure you know what you can afford. If disaster happens, how much do you have in savings? If you lost your job, can you get by with a few months missed payments? I always encourage people to pay for your vehicles with cash when at all possible. Um, make sure you have enough saved up in case something does happen because one of the worst things that can happen, um, I used to be in the repossession business. It's not fun. Uh, people lose their cars all the time. We used to finance and we no longer do that because we, we just saw the heartache that it did on people and did to families and destroyed people's lives. Um, and it's funny because we used to finance people and I remember all the slogans that people used to say for the banks is uh, financial freedom or you know you're free we'll let you choose any vehicle and this and that and everything was great and smiley faces man those banks like credit acceptance and uh, they were the worst but I mean there's Westlake Financial that does it there's a bunch of uh, lenders that man they they make it so easy and they just destroy families and, and I hate 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 seeing it um, so make sure you know your budget and long story short know your budget because you can avoid all those pitfalls of repossessions or getting taken advantage of by dealers and lenders and bank loans and this and that if you pay cash so know your budget don't go over um, and then another very very important thing being honest is make sure you know what you can handle okay there's trade-offs when you buy a car okay uh, Sometimes when you buy a car, you you uh, buy high. I, I was talking to a guy this morning, and it was high miles. Uh, it was a newer car with high miles at a low price, and he said, "Well, that's high miles." And I said, "Well, that's why it's got a low price." Um, and I told him, you know, you can buy that same vehicle uh, that's maybe ten years older with a hundred thousand less miles for the same price because your trade-off is you're getting an older vehicle. So it's one of those things, know your trade-offs. Am I okay with high miles because I want a newer vehicle or do I require lower miles and therefore um, I, I might have to buy a little bit of an older vehicle, um, sometimes body damage like if it has rust, sometimes you get those cheaper, but just make sure that you can handle it. Uh, don't take on a vehicle that's mechanically challenged if you don't have a mechanic you can trust or you're not mechanically knowledgeable. Uh, make sure you know what you're doing. So number one, get your budget. Make sure you stay within your budget. Don't get pushed around by a pushy salesman. Number two, know what you're capable of. Know the trade-offs. You know, I tell people that um, I, I have come to terms and come to peace with the fact that I'm not going to sell everybody a car for one and two, I'm not going to make everybody happy and that's okay with me. So it's one of those things where you don't have to shop with me, but take your time, know your budget, make sure you know what you can handle. Okay. Um, third thing with the whole being honest, the honest thing is just be honest. Um, I, I saw it today. It's already happened two times to me today. A uh, guy comes in. It was on a $700 Camaro. Uh, customer number one comes in and says, did you know the brakes are bad? And this is bad. That's bad. And this is bad. I mean, it gave me a whole laundry list. And at the very end of it, it was, and will you take $500, you know, $200 off? And I just, I, I asked him, like, with all those things wrong with it, you've added up way more than $200, I wouldn't feel right selling you that vehicle. And he got really pissed off at me because I wouldn't sell him the vehicle after that. Uh, and that's typically what I do. If you tell me oh, there's all these major problems with it, I just won't sell it to you because I don't want to put you in a vehicle that has major problems. But he was lying about it because the customer number two comes up, test drives it, and he was like, why are you selling it so cheap? And I heard that guy say all those things and I checked out all those things. And it doesn't have any of those problems. I'm like, I know. He was just trying to lie and be dishonest, and that's how he wants to negotiate. 
and that's not how we do things. We try to be honest by our with our pricing. Uh, we put a low price. We do uh, research into making sure we're one of the cheapest dealers in the tri-state area. Uh, we try to sell all our cars three thousand dollars or less. You'll notice our inventory's been changing. We've been getting rid of a lot of our high-dollar vehicles and getting back into that cheaper stuff because that's what we feel right about. That's what we feel is going to be most beneficial to people. Um, but again, um, and then a second guy came in and did the exact same thing. But just be honest with me, you know, if you don't have the money, it doesn't mean my car's worthless. You know, like vice versa, if my price is too high, that means I made a mistake. Um, and that may mean the car's not right for you. It's okay for me not to sell you a car. It's okay for you to buy a car elsewhere, but don't lie and say, oh, there's all these things wrong with it. Because then who are you and who am I? That kind of stuff, if we're lying to each other. If you start the relationship off with a lie, tell me there's things wrong with it, or I start off with a lie by telling you misrepresented it, it just doesn't end well. So let's be honest with each other. Um, ask questions. You know, be open. Uh, I've always said that, you know, when you hide things, that's just when things get all screwed up and all kinds of things. So anyway, there's my top three tips for today about being honest. Um, number one, if I can remember all these here. Uh, number one was know your budget. Make sure, you, if at all possible, you're paying with cash. Number two, uh, make sure you know what you're capable of with your trade-offs, with mileage, your age, all that kind of stuff, vehicle condition. And then number three, be honest with yourself. Be honest with the dealer about your needs. And uh, if the vehicle's going to be right for you, you know, don't make up stuff. You know, it's just, it's not cool. It's not. Um, you know, I, I try to work hard when people come and play games. It just makes me not want to deal with that because, uh, playing games is how people get taken advantage of and we wanted to get rid of that in the car business because that's not how I would want to buy a car and so that's not how I'm going to sell a car. So if you're done playing games, come back and shop with us. If you want to play games, that's what they have uh, new car dealerships for and that's why uh, I run a used car dealership because I don't like the games. I just like to work hard and hustle. So anyway, Entrepreneurship 101. If I can help you guys out with anything, I'd love to. I've uh, been in business for about 10 years. Uh, learned a lot of hard, hard lessons over the years. And uh, anyone looking to learn a little bit and start your own business, an automotive business, I would love to help out any way I can and uh, help each other out. So thanks, guys, for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's High Life, the letter A, letter S, High Life AS. Or check us out online at our website, highlifeauto.com, or on Facebook. We're pretty active there, too. Thanks for watching, guys.